Hi, and welcome. Today, we're going to be talking about one of the new functions within Ruckus Analytics called Data Studio. So let's move in now into the dashboard. So the dashboard, um, it, you know, if the charts is the meat and potato, the dashboard is the table setting and, you know, the placemats and all that stuff. So here, um, you're basically going to create a collection of charts and data to be represented in one screen. So the first thing that we're going to do is go ahead and click on a plus. Uh, well, for, well, I should start back. So you're going to see other dashboards again that have been published um, and published means that they're visible to anybody with that has access to that particular system. So if you create a dashboard in, um, in a multi tenant environment under one system, tenants in the other system will not be able to see it. You'll have to uh, make them available uh, in each tenant. The same thing is true here. I can work on, I can have 10 or 15 dashboards that are in draft mode that I'm working on. They're not visible to anybody until I actually publish them. And then you'll see who, who it was done by. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a new dashboard. And in this particular case, it's untitled because we haven't um, you know, defined what it is going to be. Um, and then you'll see it starts here with components. So, you know, these are basically formatting and um, you know structure elements to help build your visualization platform. So in this particular case, um, let's give it a title. We're going to do what were we talking about? We were talking about AP to controller. So let's just do controller inventory. Oops. Okay, so we're going to call it AP inventory. You're going to see it's draft, right? So that's good because we don't want people to kind of see this as we're building it in flight. So the first thing that we want to do um, is uh, we can probably skip the components for now. We can come back to those as we start to you know, pull data in and, and you know, fill out our environment of what it's going to look like. But let's go ahead and jump into our charts. Now, again, I reiterate this many, many times. What you will see here is everything that's available within your system. So if you're working with a customer and it's the first time you're going in, this will be completely blank except for the one that you just made. Right. In this case, we made the AP controller chart. That will be the only one that's there unless you did an import from gallery or unless somebody had already built something in there previous um, before you came into the environment. But in this case, um, we're going to go ahead and pull our AP inventory uh, controller environment. You see it brought it into this small box. If I want to change the size, you know, maybe it's you know squished down too much or maybe it's too much real estate. Um, I can actually grab this and move it and make it you know, a larger chart. Um, if I want it to be taller, same thing, I can grab it and move it down. So now I can see um, in this particular case, if you remember our pagination setting, um, I said I only wanted 20 entries per page. So as I scroll this down, you'll see it doesn't increase the number of data points that are on the chart. Um, it only gives it more data or more room in between, right? So if I scroll it back up, you're gonna see it'll do um, what it can to reformat the visual window to fit all of my 20 within the within the screen. If it can't, then it will give you a slider bar. The other thing is our search window. Um, so that'll be a live window when it's on our dashboard so we can actually search the data and then our coloring uh, that we added as well. So you'll see that here. Okay, now uh, since uh, I think Clifton has been out there doing some work on it, so we're gonna just grab you know some of these other charts in here. I'm not sure whose is whose, but let's just throw traffic in there just to show what that would look like. Doesn't have to be a chart that I made. It could be one that was from one of the gallery. Uh, it could be something else. It doesn't really matter. Uh, we can just pull that in and make it part of our dashboard. Um, so in this particular case, um, you know, it's very, very basic. It's very simple um, as far as pulling the data in. If I wanted to add some visualization or maybe um, if I had different sections, you know, maybe one switches, maybe one's APs, and I wanted to, to uh, delineate you know, a particular part of that dashboard as such, I can put in dividers. So it's, you know, we can put a, a divider above this and say, uh, maybe a header to say, okay, you know, this is gonna be um, switch data. And I can put another heading down here and say, whoops, I gotta go below the, go below the chart here. And then this one's gonna be, you know, AP data. Right, so you get the idea. Um, some of these uh, 
are, are you know if you want to do tabbing of data you know those get to be you know very very big dashboards that are going to have multiple screens or multiple um, charts that are going to you know represent your data um, but for what we're doing we're just going to keep it very basic um, just like this now i'm going to go ahead and save it and you're going to see here that it's still in draft and if i click on here you'll see now my controller inventory dashboard is saved it's in draft mode six seconds ago so if i go ahead and click on it this is what it's going to look like in in non-edit mode right so i see my my controller data i see my top 20 i can go to the next page i can search there's my comments lab uh, controller based on my search box and then this is just the graph that we added uh, that was pre-built from somebody else that just shows overall traffic. I don't even know what it necessarily is of, but uh, that graph got pulled in just to show that capability. Now, once we have our dashboard, this is where um, I think, you know, the, uh, oh, let me, before I change that. So if we wanted to change something, let's, so let's say, for example, um, I only wanted to see in this chart, instead of everything, all 1,650 APs, I only wanted to see a certain range. If I go back to my chart and I say, okay, let's look at our chart that was AP controller and um, I want to filter or I want to um, exclude um, maybe only like the top, uh, the top amount or, uh, you know, something like that. I can, I can actually filter and, and limit the, the amount of data or change it here within the data chart. And at that point, let's see here, let's go up to here. Um, you know, maybe it's, uh, let's see, what do we want to change? So let's change, um, let's just, let's include the time. That'll be easy enough to represent, right? So now I've got my timestamps here. When I save this, I'll just override it, yep. And now when I go back to my dashboard that's calling that particular chart, which was controller inventory, you'll now see that chart updates automatically within my dashboard, right? So anything that you make changes from, um, and again, this gets to be, you know, like I said, every hour. So that gets to be really kind of crazy data. You don't think you would really ever want to do that, but you see the point it, you know, it's a live dashboard. You don't have to go in and refresh the dashboard or anything like that. Whenever you make changes to the charts, it will automatically update, um, the dashboard itself. Okay. So that's all cool. Again, everything that you can get to, um, within the old data Explorer environment is a, still available here. Um, but this is where um, we take a little detour from parity with Data Explorer and really take it to the next level and say, why is Data Studio, in my mind, the best thing that we've done?